Hey guys, it's Alex Bates from Midnight Mayhem, and we as the organizers just felt like we should get in front of you all and kind of just let you know what our thoughts and feelings were towards SAE's announcement they made this morning. So first and for foremost, we fully support SAE's decision to not host events this spring and summer. With everything going on around the world right now to slow and prevent the spread of COVID-19, it just makes sense that we do our part and we not invite over a thousand people from multiple countries into one location. Um, so as the organizers for Baja SAE Louisville, we're gonna continue to fully support and facilitate the virtual competitions in whatever means necessary uh, as directed by SAE. Uh, but just like you guys, we were disappointed in, in the announcement this morning. As you all know, we've, we've been dreaming of hosting one of these events since Midnight Mayhem started back in 2008. And we were so excited that we finally got the opportunity to do that this year. Uh, this event specifically started being planned in February of last year. That began with putting into action what we thought was kind of our last ditch effort um, for getting that invitation from SAE to host. That started with working with the University of Louisville to secure the space that you all now know as the Drop Forge Proving Grounds, uh, and then sharing that vision that we had for that space with SAE because keep in mind that there were no pictures of a track that we could just send them and say, this is where we want to do it. We had to literally lay it out piece by piece and show them this is where the packs are going to go. This is where maneuverability and, and the endurance course will route uh, once we build it. Uh, so the fact that we got their blessing in April and May of last year was, was incredible. And all of those actions culminated in hosting Midnight Mayhem 11 last fall as the final beta test uh, for Baja SAE Louisville. So over the last year, countless volunteer hours have gone into, you know, building the site, organizing both events, and as an organizing team, we're, we're pretty exhausted, but uh, just like you all keep going on your cars, we were excited to keep going because we just wanted you guys to get to uh, Louisville and have the best competition experience you possibly could. As you all are probably well aware, um, all of the organizers within Midnight Mayhem are um, student or in the past we participated in Baja SAE as students and so we, we totally understand and know the time and effort that it takes to build design and, and effectively compete with uh, with a car at three different competitions a year it's not easy and we if we were in your shoes we would definitely feel upset and and angry like you all are right now um, and, and in, in light of that we had not originally planned to host Midnight Mayhem 12 this fall. Like I said, we're, as an organizing team, we were exhausted. By the time Baja SAE Louisville was over and cleaned up with, you know, we would have been going nonstop for about a year and a half and just needed a break. Uh, but with this announcement coming out last Tuesday, we had a meeting um, internally and everyone unanimously said, yes, let's host the event this fall. And so we are going to be bringing Midnight Mayhem 12 to you this fall. We don't know when it's going to be. Um, as you all are probably or hopefully well aware that the situation around the world changes it seems like by the minute and so we will be working with the University of Louisville very closely over the next several months to make sure that we're following all of their regulations and guidelines around large events on campus and the COVID-19 virus and all that stuff. So we don't know a lot right now but we are starting to loosely think about um, what options and opportunities that we have. We're not going to be doing a lot of planning until after we are done with Baja SAE Louisville. Um, but one of the things that we are most definitely considering is breaking our traditional rule of not allowing cars without a pass tax sticker to compete at Midnight Mayhem. You guys have spent the last 8-10 months building a new car um, and with the advent of four-wheel drive being required next year in 2021, or at least we have to continue to make that assumption, uh, you guys need an opportunity to test those systems on as, a, as much of a competition-like environment as you possibly can. And we feel that we can offer that at the, at the Proving Grounds, especially with all the track upgrades that we've made over the last several months. So over the next couple of months, not gonna see a lot of information on Mayhem coming, but as soon as we are finished with Baja SAE Louisville. You will definitely start seeing more coming out of that. We understand that for a lot of you, you don't have access to your shops right now, and so your cars might not even be finished. Um, and so we definitely want to make sure that we're taking that into consideration as we figure out what date we're gonna be having this event on. 
Um, the other thing we have to consider too is that a lot of large events in Louisville that normally happen in the spring, like the Kentucky Derby, have been postponed until September. And so making sure that we don't have issues with being able to get hotels for an affordable price and things like that for you guys is definitely going to be in the forefront of our concern as well. So I just want to wrap up and kind of say that, you know, we really feel for you guys right now. This is an abrupt change to your seasons and and for all of your all of you seniors, I know it's highly disappointing because you don't get to to have that one last final competition. Um, but we're hoping that by hosting Midnight Mayhem 12 this fall, you know, we can we can ease some of that pain and and we'll definitely be sharing more information as the world returns to some level of normalcy in the future. So until that time, thank you guys for supporting Midnight Mayhem over the last few years. You're definitely one of the reasons why we're hosting Baja SAE Louisville this year. And with, without you all, we couldn't have been doing this for the last 12 years. So again, thank you, and we'll see you again soon.